Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. I wanted to talk about covenants and people's long range plans, what we could expect and how they work. So there's only four generals right now that have a covenant. So let's take a look at them. I'm lucky enough to have all four of them. So let's view them. So the first one, Napoleon. So covenants came out during the Napoleon event and the first two with a covenant were Napoleon and Andre Messina right here in the center of his covenant. So basically, you get a covenant and there's three generals. These three right here at the top right. Right there. And if you have three, it makes it a lot easier to ascend. Each level is only going to be 50. And you get them through spending money or a very tiny amount in daily activities. I think it's seven. So what you need to know about covenants is right here. If you click this information button right there. The small one, blue, or there's only one of them, only works for that general. So it will only work in that march. The other one, where there's two, a gold and blue one, that will work all the time. So those are kind of the important ones. So what you want to do is look and see like, oh, is that something I need to achieve? Because it's going to be like a debuff for my entire keep? Or is it only something that's going to be in the march? So for me, Napoleon, I did him all the way because his last one increased his mounted attack 8%. That's pretty good. The, his fourth one that helps for everything all the time, uh, not that important. You know, training speed and training capacity. At this point in the game, Evany is flooding us with training speeds. Now let's look at the next one. Andre Messina. So go to his covenant, and he has three generals as well. Eventually, they're all probably going to have their own covenants as well. But so, for example, Roland, his covenant won't help Messina if he's not in the march with Messina. At least that's how we think it will work. But... Messina is my assistant general, so his covenant will help in the march. If he wasn't the assistant general, it wouldn't help. Now, let's look at the ones here. So monster defense, eh. March speed, eh. But then you get to the fourth, enemy range troop and siege attack. So you get that debuff for all of them. That's pretty good. So that's why I took him to four. Because all of his other stuff isn't that good. His fifth one, his last one here, when attacking, enemy range, troop, and siege attack. But it only works for him. So to me, honestly, I just don't think it's important to debuff the enemy's defensive range and siege attack when I'm attacking by 5%. If it was defensively, like if this was for my entire keep... I'd actually think that was probably pretty important and I'd want that, want that extra range five, but I don't see the big value in it. So let's look at the other ones. And now I'm going to get into some more advanced stuff with covenants. So right here, I don't have all three. I only have one, two. Now, this is a problem because... When you uh, increase these, not only do you have to spend 50, 50 Covenant Stones, you also have to, th these have to add up to a certain amount. So like if I look at uh, John Hunyadi, I always want to call him Hyundai, like the Kia, not Kia, but the Ki Korean vehicle, Korea makes Hyundais and Kia. So all of these core attributes here, these 1890, 1898, 1867, etc. They all have to add up with his covenant. So I'm lucky. Matthias is pretty high. My Jadwiga is nothing. And my Suleiman's non-existent. But if I pick this fifth one right here, these ones, there is going to be a requirement on how many core attributes you could get. And I'm not going to lie here. I'm going to tell the exact truth here. That just happened. I just discovered 
that there is a final covenant to Hanyadi. I did not know I could scroll there and find another one. Wow. So I may actually have to complete him because that's big. 15% attack. And his next one is in rally range and siege attack 5, in rally siege 10. I haven't clicked this because I just don't think I can get it without getting Suleiman. But I'm going to come back to him in a second. Let's look at Marcus, the other guy, because I'm super intrigued and want to go back to Napoleon now because I didn't know you could actually scroll. That is news to me. So I'm kind of screwed on right here with Marcus as well because <clears throat> I don't have Caesar. I thought I had him. I, I don't know. I guess I don't have him. But I got Gaius and I got Mark Antony. So what you do with these generals you level them up in battlefield, even if you're not using them, because it will help with the Covenant Stones or the next get to the next level. So let's look at Marcus, next level. Range troop capacity, I don't really care. Range troop siege and defense. March speed, that's pretty good. Those ones are all really good too. Um, I had trouble getting to his second one on here because these other ones are so lowly developed, Gaius in particular. <clears throat> so that's why I never went the next level. But now that I've looked at these, wow. Let's go back and see what Napoleon has. So you see, I didn't see this before. Marching mounted troop attack, in rally mounted troop attack. Um, yeah, that's 27% uh, more. I'm definitely going to be doing that. So now you see, excellent example at the bottom, I paid the Covenant Stones but I don't have enough of those core attributes. I am 600 short. Now let's go into my covenant and see. So Andre Messina, yeah, I could increase him a bit. Salt, also very low. Let's look at his level. So I got him at 44. So I can get him up a level in Battlefield. That'll probably help me with about 100. Or I could pay gems, right? And this one, Napoleon, is level 44, so I could gain another 100 there as well. And I think, uh, I'm pretty sure that my Andre Messina is 45, yeah. So, but cultivating-wise, it's only 200 gems. So I'm going to be able to get them up fairly quickly to take advantage of that Napoleon covenant. Let's take a look at what uh, Andre Messina is at the end. So... In Rally Mounted Attack, In Rally Mounted Attack, yeah, this is going to make him completely OP having this pairing. So I'm going to have to increase both of them. And as you can see, this one fell short as well. So I'm going to have to increase the core attributes. And if I go over here, so it looks like Terrain is going to be, uh, sorry, uh, Hulago or Dragon Lee, you're getting reinforced but with him at some point. <laughs> and uh, let's take a look and see what my other ones are at there. So the quickest way to get to uh, Andre Messina is to go through there, go to his covenant. And my Bertrand's probably pretty low. 33. Yeah, we're going to be upping that. And his stars, okay, they are 33. But uh, let's see what the other one is. And I think I'll be able to get him up actually fairly quickly. Roland should be uh, very maxed out. Yeah, I got him at nine stars. He isn't fully cultivated, but he's high enough that I don't need to do anything other than put him in battlefield and level him up. So that's my advice. Level them up in battlefield or on an NPC sub, which kind of takes forever nowadays because you're looking at like 300 million points a level. You're much better off just putting him in battlefield and all the big attacks that go on now. But... Wow, I can't believe I missed that sixth level on the Covenant. I bet there's a lot of people who also didn't see that. So I, I, I'm, I'm feeling dumb right now, but please in the comments section, cheer me up and let me know that you also didn't know that. I'm going to add like 50% to my Polian mounted attack just on that. But my plan for all my Covenant stones, really, really one thing I want to talk about was I'm going to hold on to a lot. Um, I coined a lot recently, but I'm not going to for a while. I'm going to shut it down. That's how I coin. I go big at certain amount of times and then I stop and wait for a new update in the game where they introduce something like Covenant Stones or Treasure Scrolls and then I get by them all. Blazons, etc. Anyways, I'm going to hold these because you have to assume every general is going to get a Covenant now. So 
wait for your general that you're using and see if they get a covenant. And you don't have to change to a general that has a covenant because yours that you've already spent rune stones on and uh, fragments to ascend might get its own covenant. So just wait, be patient. Ebony is a game that rewards patience. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.